Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by. Those of you who are Star Wars fans no doubt have been following The Mandalorian on Disney+. Plus. I myself have no interest in watching it until Kathleen Kennedy is gone and then I'll subscribe after she's left the building. But as you all know, Disney Plus has said that The Mandalorian se Season 3 has been delayed until 2022 and the gaming press explains it. As in Forbes, I think as you can see, this was written on 22nd of December last year. This comic book's get written on the 9th of June this year. And Gadgets 360 was written on the 10th of June this year. And finally, Disney Plus itself has said that it's going to be delayed. Now, I want to know where this Mandalorian story is heading. If elderly indications seem to show its heading straight for the Disney trilogy. Even Mike Zero, the ubiquitous Star Wars news source to a degree. I just watched this. It said John Favreau finally changed the sequel trilogy forever. He always says this is a huge move, but forever into what? All roads are leading to the trilogy, which is ridiculous. The trilogy is supposed to be erased, gone. There'd be no 7, 8 and 9. But if all roads are heading there, then Favaro, he's just wasting his time. I mean, the Luke went from this to this. Is that what you want? A bitter old man on an island? Wouldn't you rather have Luke like that? Alive and well? I've... Let's have a look at this statement. They should completely wipe out the sequel trilogy and go for the Mandalorian story. Yeah, but again, where's the Mandalorian story heading for? They have so much to use in complete cancel the sequel trilogy. Yes. Star Wars is saved the moment they retcon the Disney trilogy. It doesn't need retconning. It just needs erasing. As I keep saying in comments, Antaloon and Adam at work, the 7, 8 and 9 need to be remade. No Ray, no Poe, no Finn, no Kylo Ren, no First Order. It's just a monumental mess. Disney, once that woman has left the building, should admit that they royally fucked up and they're going to have to remake 7, 8 and 9 again and consign the existing trilogy, trilogy to the rubbish bin of Star Wars history. But Mike Zero seems to think that the Disney trilogy is canon. It's not as you can see in world class bullshitters here. Star Wars, no plan, no excuse. It's just a monumental screw up that Disney set off from the word go. And it's not going anywhere. If they're going to try and retcon it to try and shoehorn elements of the trilogy. Disney trilogy into canon by getting bits of legends. So everything mixes up, then Favreau is on to a loser. It's not going to work. The Star Wars fans, they're not going to accept it. The real Star Wars fans. 7, 8, 9 has to be remade. I don't care what anyone says. That's my personal opinion. And if not, I've got 7, 1, 2, 3, 3A, which was Rogue One, and 4, 5, and 6. So it's the real canon, but without making three new movies that link to Return of the Jedi, okay, we've lost Carrie for good, Harrison Ford is such a pompous fool, he doesn't want anything to do with it, they can kill those two off in the opening paragraph on the beginning of the movie, and you just have Luke alive and well, but going the way 
Favreau goes in the TV series, apparently, and retconning into the Disney trilogy. It's going to be a shit show of epic proportions. Maybe once Kathleen Kennedy has gone, Disney will realise the monumental error and they could do something more positive. But for now, all the comments down here, just wondering how long it's going to take for Disney Lucasfilm XX to figure out that, that the Disney Star Wars trilogy has to go. There is nothing about it worth salvaging. Give them a yes. What about Kylo? Amen. Let's hide them. The only way I get on board is a complete retcon of what they did to Luke and the Last Jedi. I'm not okay with justifying what Ryan Johnson did. They should discard it altogether and remake 7, 8, 9. Right, I think this video's gone on long enough. It's just something I wanted to get off my chest because of all what's going on. But it's a question of, do you want Luke to be remembered like that and slowly getting old? Or do you want Luke to re be remembered like that? It's up to the fans to make their feelings known to the Disney execs. But I'd rather have... A complete remake and Luke as a Jedi and a bitter old man on an island. Anyway, I think that's it for this one. Sorry it's a bit rambly, but it's just a monumental mess of Star Wars as it currently is. And it's all the fault of that woman and Ryan Johnson and this guy here, JJ. Anyway... That's it for this one, people. You know the routine. Like, dislike, comment, sub subscribe. Completely up to you. I'll probably go back to MIGTOW next week unless there's something really interesting going on in Star Wars. But we'll have to wait till December with the MIG... With... Not MIGTOW, you dozy sod. With the release of Season 3, I've... Got four weeks off coming in September from work, so if she's gone, then I'll subscribe to Disney Plus and binge on Mandalorian to catch up. Right, that's it for this one. Till next Monday, that's it. Bye-bye.